Hey, it's cat. A cat tails to be my head's chopped off. Sorry. Anyway, I have to like literally like halfway lay down, I guess, because I um, there's something going on with my big camera and my SD card. So I'm doing it on my phone. Let me tell you what's going on. There's so much. I'm going to do it really quick. First off, the positive things. Billie Eilish, Eilish's new song is fucking amazing. Lunch. It's poetic. I actually wrote something about it. But um, she is so talented. I just can't get enough of how great she is. Oh, God. Literally, there's a dog laying down right there. I mean, out of nowhere, like, I know you guys think I'm making this shit up, but literally when I sat down, there was nobody around, and now there's a ton of people. It happens all the time. Some people say I'm a magnet. Anyway, I'm trying to find what I wrote about Billie Eilish's new song, Lunch. Of course, I can't find my notes. Where are they? But yeah, if you haven't heard it, it's the summer bop. I think that young lady is so talented. She is on another level. I cannot believe I cannot find these words that I wrote. I'm so pissed. I'm just kind of kidding. Anyway, I'm going to have to do this at another time. I cannot believe I can't find it. It's so annoying. I write a lot of different notes in here. But I definitely want to give her kudos because she is on another level. And the lyrics in Lunch is so clever. And I love it. I think she's a siren. She literally figured out the sound of a siren and what I wrote uh, I always think what I write down is so much better than I remember but um, it's like her voice is a tongue like licking inside your ear and it's just so I don't want to say erotic or something if that makes any sense. But in the, the coolest way. So I just want to give a big up to her. Because I just think she is fantabulous. And I cannot find the exact notes. But it was something about a tongue. Her voice is like a tongue. Like a siren. And also, I want to give a shout out to a guy named Vlad. who dresses up like a girl and is a gamer. He's hysterical absolutely hysterical but whether he realizes it or not i think he's a great comedic person and he's also serving a higher purpose because he's actually showing you what a lot of those incels act like and how they talk about women and um he kind of corrects them in a funny way a non-threatening way so i think he's actually doing a service because a lot of people do not take women's just trying to live their lives, minding their own business, and how men interact with us. I don't know what's going on, but I've had some issues lately with men just harassing and not taking no for an answer. Like, they do not respect women. And I got in a conversation with someone who said that uh, it, he blamed it on the family dynamics and that women are at home. Uh, taking care of kids and they're working so there's nobody watching the kids but I think it's even bigger than that this goes back to the beginning of civilization and I think on a microscopic level majority of people are on different levels mentally emotionally um, intellectually some people still have reptilian brains and they're not evolved so they think it's normal to do stuff like rape people drug them, uh, abuse women, make music, make money off of it, enslave women. This is, and men, but this has been going on since the beginning of time. Uh, sex trafficking and drug trafficking is nothing new. Um, a lot of our history has been misled to us. We think that the people back in uh, the ancient Greek 
times were so, uh, I don't know, so perfect. The Romans were so, like, regal. You know, uh, they literally had gladiators that would be killed, and uh, people would buy their blood and drink it and use it for uh, magic, what they thought was magic. So I really don't think we've evolved, some of us. You know what I'm saying? And this is a nice segue to Diddy because um, Diddy has not been arrested yet. And in regards to Diddy, I really believe he's like a CIA guy. I'm going to lay down if you guys don't mind. This is really annoying. Anyway, I think he's kind of CIA because they keep letting him do whatever he wants to do. And it reminds me of like Iran Contra type of shit or how most civilizations, most governments make money off of trafficking people or drugs. Uh, how can someone get away with abusing so many people, killing so many people, allegedly drug trafficking for so long, 30 years, and not and not be held accountable? When uh, if you run a red light, you're going to get a ticket because you're nobody. So I really do believe that uh, you know he does serve a higher purpose for the powers that be, and of course. There's people who gave him the right or the uh, money to do what he's doing, like Clive Davis, like uh, allegedly Larry Cohen, and Lucian Grange, who's also connected to Prince William because he was knighted in 2016, which is interesting because it's the same year that Cassie was seen on videotape being beaten. 2016, amazing year for abusers. Uh, Let's get back to, like, Prince William and Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton is still has not been seen. And um, if you haven't had a chance, please check out my um, Twitter feed, at Cattails TV, K-A-T-T-A-L-E-S TV. Because sometimes I, I say and I write so many beautiful, beautiful, so many amazing things that I can't remember exactly what I said or typed or tweeted. And... Um, I don't necessarily put in a video. I'm being somewhat sarcastic, but not really. But in regards to the Kate Middleton thing, um, my understanding, the royals are losing a lot of money. Um, it's very difficult. Ah, I'm right next to a bunch of bees. Sorry. Um, they, they are trying to figure out ways to pay for their lavish lifestyle. You know, all those castles and houses cost money to run and the monarchy really lives off of people because they don't really run the country really they're just like actors in nice costumes but uh, when you look at their history Henry VIII, Vlad the Impaler, uh, the madness of King George they're not very nice people they think they have royal blood so they can do whatever they want whatever that royal blood is. Um, but they are the epitome of white privilege. Take whatever they want, kill whoever they want, rape whoever they want, traffic whoever they want, use women as breeders, really being on the DL. Um, yeah, it's not cool. But I really do believe the monarchy should be canceled because they're freaking annoying and what they're doing with the whole Kate Middleton thing is disgusting I do not believe they can have all the kids in the same place at the same time these bees Jesus Christ sorry guys I'm cutting off my head off with the head if I sit up sorry it's so hard doing this because I like being in nature and you know I'm not like other people that tell you guys stories or whatever because I like being on location sometimes location is difficult like life but again let's get back to the royals they're supposed to have the trooping of the color soon not that I give a shit but first they were saying that you know Kate Middleton might be there which is very unlikely um, and then they were worried some people worried that they're gonna use a hologram you know because they've used like 10 fake images and videos already um, I don't believe they're going to do it. I think they're playing a game like a like a soap opera 
like a bad reality TV show because everyone's watching now and this is the first time they're getting this much attention, but it's negative attention. But they remind me of like the, the Kardashians, the Kardashians I like to call them because no matter what they do, they use the publicity to their advantage and it's almost like they make more power off of negative uh, publicity. Like I've never seen a family make more money and have more power ripping off people, stealing their ideas, getting sued but don't really care because by that time they've made money and they move on to the next scam. But people, well, there are people calling them out on it, but in my opinion, the Kartrashians are like Diddy. They've done a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily know of, but they've had a serious effect on the global consciousness and how women are perceived and all women are not vapid, uh, talentless uh, whores or acting as beards to download men. Speaking of which, uh, Kanye supposedly is being sued again by somebody. I don't know the whole story, but um, I find this whole thing really interesting because it seems like, especially now, whoever rises to huge fame especially black males, they are a target. But also, a lot of these black males, uh, rappers, are on the DL. I don't know if everyone who's successful in the entertainment has to be uh, penetrated in their ass, but it seems like a lot of people have been and, and or like it, or it's the fare they pay to rise. As for the women, I can only imagine what they have to do. But anybody having sex with anybody in Hollywood, in my opinion, you're out of your mind because it just seems like it's a lot of chem sex, which is chemical sex, a lot of drugs, and a lot of people sleeping around with a lot of people if you're looking for a, a serious relationship. I think it's almost impossible to find it in Hollywood. No joke. Some of these relationships seem to be fake. I don't know. And speaking of fake, I don't, in reference to J-Lo, there's some interesting things going on with her because some people think um, the marriage between her and Ben Affleck is, is in the crapper. And some people think they're using the, the drama to take away the focus from her being unable to sell out her tour. Nobody really wants to see J-Lo. I'm sorry. And especially the people are starting to wake up to the point of she cannot sing really they've had other she's stolen other people's music like a shante and some other singers um she literally just stole their background vocals or sang over their masters and you know she's a thief but also she was close to diddy and she held the gun in that uh, new york bar rest whatever it was club where uh, a woman who happened to be black got shot in the face and I guess his name was Shine, if I'm not making a mistake. He went to prison, and J-Lo and Diddy did not. So, yeah, I don't really have much respect for J-Lo. I don't really like her, especially knowing what I found out now. I didn't really think about her before. She was their little, you know, hot Puerto Rican ethnic chick that, you know, had a great ass, but all the other black women she stepped on to get to where she is, pretty much my brain is like, you J-Lo. So whatever trouble she's having with Ben Affleck, who's a known alcoholic and a, and a philanderer, you know, more power to her. And her, her documentary tanked and so did her um, Atlas tank, you know. So I guess karma does work. Who the hell knows? But yeah, pretty much, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but uh, those are the top things I'm thinking about. I got JLo, I got Prince William. Oh yeah, Prince William's running around with uh, Rose Hansberry. Allegedly, they're going to Romania. They're like they're hanging out in Romania, fucking around, while Kate Middleton is allegedly recuperating. I mean, literally, William doesn't do jack shit. He's a lucky guy. He doesn't really work. He's so lucky 
be able to, you know, get people pregnant, not really work, possibly kill people like Thomas Kingston and um, Kate Middleton and, and get away with it. It's a lucky life he has. Oh. Oh, it's more drama. I heard a rumor that Andrew... Andrew's not moving out of the one of the castles he's living in, even though they're, they want him to move. He won't. These people are so privileged, but I, I'm wondering if, uh, if people realize the same attitude William had, I'm sorry, the same attitude Andrew had when it came to explaining his relationship with uh, Jeffrey Epstein is the same obnoxious uh, narcissism that that William seems to have when it comes to not being honest about where Kate Milton is and what's really going on with her. They really think they're above people and the truth. I really don't like these people. I have no idea that they were like this. Um, you know, I'm talking about like William and, and what was going on with Kate. I had no idea. I just thought, oh, these are nice people. I don't know. I had no idea. But I just happened to jump into that whole story of like what was happening and the patterns of abuse are there. Just like the patterns of abuse with Cassie was there. She's with Diddy for all that time and no albums are coming out like one. Um, He's stringing her along. He's he's beating her up in hallways and in, in expensive hotel rooms, and nobody cares. Everyone had to know. And also, what's real telling is that Hollywood Hollywood is not talking about Diddy, which means that dude had so much power, and he's got so much tapes on everybody. That everybody's keeping their mouth shut. That's very interesting, you know. But it's so. It's so disgustingly tragic. But I, one thing I want to say, women, you've got to, you got to carry yourself with respect and demand respect. And I would also say carry a weapon, whatever that means for you. Because this guy I got in a discussion with today, he was like, you just have to tell a man to respect you. I was like, yeah, that really works with a psychopathic narcissist and a rapist. And by the way, if you're coming to Los Angeles, there's been a lot of crime in, like, the Venice Canals. A woman got murdered and raped. Um, some guy hit her in the head with a whiskey bottle. He raped her. And then she died when they, you know, they pulled the plug in the hospital because she was brain dead. Another woman got attacked by the same guy. He's supposedly in jail. I don't know if the um, the DA will give him a light sentence because he does that. See, that's what I'm dealing with. Motherfuckers. They, they just don't give a fuck. It's like, you know, people let their dogs run around. They don't give a fuck. Um, crazy ass shit. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's privilege. It's just not caring about other people and just doing whatever the fuck you want. That's what's happening. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think we're. It's de-evolution. I think it's it's de-evolution, and I think every woman should have uh, protection because the by the time the police come, it's too late, and your your friends are going to ignore the signs of of whatever is happening because they don't listen. Not all of them, but a lot of them. But all the people that are like, oh, I saw I saw the video of Cassie and it really freaked me out. It's almost like it's porn. You know, violence against women is like porn for some people. They try to act like, oh, I'm shocked. But the if you look at the patterns of Diddy for the last, what, 30 years, you kind of see he's a dick. He's a crazy bastard. And they... They started putting it out there on that Viacom fucking show, making the band, that reality crap, where they they program people being psychopathic, narcissists, and abusing other people. They make it the norm. And then you fast forward to people like Paris Hilton and the Kardashians, 
and then girls and boys start to emulate all that garbage. So like 20, 30 years of programming garbage. So again, each individual has to take responsibility for themselves and what they're listening to. And by God, if you have children, do a better job of what's coming into your household and what your kids are listening to. I don't even I don't even know if the majority of the people now are, are halfway decent parents because they didn't have decent parents. And they're under so much stress and some of us so much violence that it's hard for them to be calm and a wise parent. So all I can say is if you want change, be the change. But you have to cancel Diddy because I don't know how long it's going to take the FBI and Homeland Security and if he's a CIA op or whatever, I don't know if they're ever going to actually um, prosecute him officially and he's actually going to pay for what he did. I don't think he really will. I don't know if he's going to be alive or dead, but there's other people ahead of him, above him, like Clive Davis and, like I said, uh, Liar Cohen and uh, Lucian Grange, allegedly. I don't know why, but there's a lot of people that are Caucasian and I can't say what else I want to say. They never get caught. Brian Singer, TMZ helped him with softball interviews. He got away with it, all the rumors. There's a video of some guy saying about Diddy having uh, young people outside of his house. Uh, he was in a car and saying, stop all those people coming to the house late at night. Brian Singer was doing the same thing. He was having young people boys they go to his party and then after it was over he just there was no way for them to get home so you, they were stuck up in the hills and his neighbors complained and they told a TMZ uh, photographer videographer sorry videographer and um, he didn't put that on on film because Brian was protected Brian did uh, the X-Men one of those movies and then he got fired from uh, I think that Queen movie they ended up wearing a uh, winning an Oscar. That the lead guy won an Oscar, Rami Malek. So yeah, certain people get away with stuff, just like Dan Schneider, and then other people don't. So think about it. But cancel the people yourself. Stop giving them money. YouTube should have canceled Diddy's uh, YouTube page, and they haven't yet. But Liar Cohen is the head of um, YouTube Music. So you, if you care about what's happening, complain to YouTube and say you want Diddy off the platform. Instead of just sitting around talking about it and watching violence, porn, and, and in, in the back of your mind thinking Diddy acting like a pimp is really, really cool. Because I think a lot of men, they like what Diddy did. They want to be in his shoes, you know what I mean? I have some more stuff to tell you guys. I have to wait until I can better communicate it. But um, I've been doing some serious research on um, what what have they been doing, like the the Diddy uh, parties and the drugs and the the sex trafficking and the drug trafficking. It goes way 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 back. And the funny thing about Diddy is he's a uh, he's a Catholic. So what the hell was he messing around with T.D. Jake except using him? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is Cat at Cat Tales TV. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, I'll be back soon with some more stuff. But yeah, look at my other videos. Also, please check out my Redbubble. I have so much artwork on there. You can see all kinds of interesting things. And if you see something you like, you can support me by buying some of my art. You can also go to my Poshmark and check out my Poshmark uh, closet and get some clothes. I think pretty much I'm on Etsy too. I have like pipes. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, you guys take care and yeah, no ditty. Bye.